All right, folks, Virginia's idiot, we are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook. We are on World Edition Case 13, Moscow Mole. We're heading on to Chapter 3. This is the first case in Russia. Uh, guys, remember how I kind of mentioned that I hacked into the MGB servers earlier? Well, they kind of noticed. Oh, you got to be kidding me, Elliot. The MGB knows you hacked into their servers? Yeah, and they're uh, not too happy about it. I managed to hold off their attempts to hack into the bureau servers in retaliation so far, but you need to wrap up this investigation before the MGB can jeopardize our entire network. Oh, great. Well, I'm sure that'll be a real help in figuring out whether our victim was the Cosmoris Mole and who killed her, don't you, Ace? Well, we know the victim went to Gorky Park every day, and we know she might have leaked information, so perhaps she went there to meet a contact. Quick, let's go. Ooh, some shots. I would love a shot right now. I think after this, a shot is, is necessary. Is it been up for 17 hours straight now? All right, so headphones, locked phone. That's not the locked phone. There's the locked phone. What do I do for you guys, man? You guys are always so good to me. That's not a handbag? Oh, it must be a briefcase. Oh, that's a handbag. Bobby, duck, and Russian dolls. Come on, Ace, tell me you grabbed some clues. We're running out of time. The MGB could shut down our servers any minute now. Oh, you picked up a bag with the name DG Chernobyl embroidered on it. That's our victim. We better get looking through it. And you're right, this phone must have fallen out of Daria's bag. Lock, look, it has a picture of Daria and Oleg in the background. You better unlock it. Well, there's a victim in the picture in that notebook. We need to recover the missing info. This could blow the case wide open. Not wide open because you know there's going to be a 9, 15 hour, and then like another 9 hour. You just know that's going to happen. Uh, so we got UE... Ah, uh, nope. USR? Yeah, USR. Uh, 8-3. Boom! Whoa. Well, that's quite a set, a set of abs in that photo on the victim's phone, Ace. Though, obviously, they're not as good as mine. Hey, you're right. We know this guy. That's Liam, our victim's friend. That was Daria... What was Daria doing with a picture of Liam like that on her phone? I don't know about you, Ace, but I don't usually have sexy selfies of my friends on my phone. Well, check out this message. It reads 200,000 rubles and I'm yours. 200,000 rubles? That must be something like $3,000. I agree. We need to ask Liam about this straight away. Oh, is this guy a male escort? Yes. Yeah, we haven't seen that in this game in a while. I don't even know if we've had it ever. Oh. Interesting. We found some torn pieces in the victim's handbag, Ace. Let's get piecing them back together then. All right, I'm just gonna throw it out there right now. Just, if the husband knew about it, he killed him, and he it sounds like he did know about it. So I'm gonna go on a limb and say it was the husband. I do not know Russian. That's gonna be a problem. But I will bet you Marina knows. Hey, great, you recovered the text written next to our victim's picture in that notebook you found. It's all written in Russian, of course. What are you doing now? No good thinking, Ace. Marina will be able to tell us what this says. Let's send the notebook to her real quick. Okay, so there's the nine hours. Knew that one was coming. Let's examine the torn paper. So here's Cosmoris. To check for how much. Oh snap, that's a lot of money. Well, check it out, Ace. This check you found in the victim's handbag was from Cosmoris. It's addressed to Nikolai, that scientist we met earlier. But Daria crossed out his name and added her own instead. Does this mean that the victim was embezzling Cosmoris' money? You're right, we obviously can't ask Daria about this, but we can talk to Nikolai. That does not sound good. Nope, no it doesn't. 
What's up, dude? It's bad. So, Liam, you forgot to mention that the victim was paying you to be her friend. 200,000 rubles, eh? You're hardly selling yourself cheap. Well, I could offer you a discount if you'd like. A discount? I... Whoa, don't try to change the subject. It won't work. Did Daria refuse to pay you for your services and you killed her? Is that it? Of course not. Daria was very happy with my performance. She paid well. Though, to be honest, I didn't think our relationship would end this way. But as Tolstoy says, everything ends in death. Everything. Well, if Senior Trooper Ace discovers you had a hand in Daria's murder, everything will end in prison for you. I don't think it's him. Unless he was actually, like, the mole, but... Eh. I'm not giving that guy that much credit, honestly. Nikolai, Senior Trooper Ace found a check addressed to you, but the victim was clearly intending to cash it in here. Oh, I knew it. I knew she was stealing my funding money. Wait, you knew the victim was stealing money from Cosmoris and you didn't think to tell us? Well, I didn't know exactly, but I always suspected it. Daria was as corrupt as they come. I don't know how she ever got a government job. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised, though. Crooks like Daria always come off best. Perhaps Tulsi was right when he says, One must be cunning and wicked in this world. Well, let's hope you didn't kill her based on your suspicions, else funding will be the least of your worries. It's true. Alright guys, looks like we have nine hours to go. Pitching Games 88, I will see you guys in a bit. Au revoir. Alright folks, Pitching Games 88, good morning. Hey, have you found out what my mother is up to yet, Ace? Oh, come on, Marina, there's no reason to be jealous of your mother. Now, what can you tell us about the message in the notebook? Well, it simply reads, this woman will ruin me, written over and over again. Your repetition suggests an obsession with the target, who is obviously your victim. Well, the spacing between the letters implies that the person who wrote it was a woman. Furthermore, the rigidity with which the letters were penned demonstrates the writer's pathological need for order, despite the obvious frustration in the message. Trust me, Ace, this shows all the hallmarks of an MJB agent. Hmm, and a female MGB agent. Seems like Anya didn't tell us the whole truth when we questioned her about the following, about following the victim, Ace. Eh? So we need to talk to her about this notebook. Yes, we do. What's up, Anya? Hey, you need to explain this notebook, Anya. Writing this woman will ruin me over and over again. Seems like you're pretty fixated on your victim. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. I thought I'd disposed of that. Would you find out that Daria had been offered money to leak classified information from Cosmoris? Rich like that wouldn't have looked good for the MGB. Oh, so that's what it was. I knew she had it was hiding something. I just couldn't figure out what. You wouldn't believe how many nights I sat at home eating beef, deep beef stroganoff and drinking vodka, trying to figure out what she was doing. Vodka and beef stroganoff, eh? Funny you should mention those, since our killer, killer likes both. Uh, so do a lot of people, Senior Trooper Ace. A foreign organization like the Bureau being brought in is a professional failure for me. The MJB prides itself on its efficiency. I guess I just didn't try hard enough. Like Tolstoy says, a battle is won by him who is firmly resolved to win it. Well, if Senior Trooper Ace finds out that you are behind Daria's murder, the only thing you'll be winning is a lengthy prison sentence. Dang. Almost everyone's got this. This investigation has just taken an unexpected turn, Ace. We originally thought Daria was just a paper pusher. But she seems to have been devious in all aspects of her life. Not only did she steal Nikolai's funding and possibly sell confidential information, she was also paying Liam for favors, and that's just wrong. Ace, office hours are almost over, which means that local workers are starting to gather at the Christmas market on your crime scene. Oh man, between that and the MJB on our backs, we need to get back there before any last clues are lost in the cloud crowds. In the clouds. Mm. You need to grab a whole bunch of stars, too. Whoa. Very nice outfit. Bottle handle. Oh, there it is. Nice. Murder weapon. Deer head. Gingerbread man. Russian dolls. Sack of potatoes and snowman. Oh, interesting. Oh, you gonna give me another star too? Nope. I'll take experience. Whoa, Ace. 
I know we don't always get along, but please don't hit me with that broken bottle. Oh, yeah, right. Angela did say the victim had been stabbed with a broken vodka bottle. You just found our murder weapon, Ace. I'm good thinking. We should take a sample of that dried blood on the bottle. If we're lucky, it might not just be the victims. Why are you interested in that snowman? Snowman wasn't there the first time we investigated the crime scene? So what? Oh, right. The kids who made this might have accidentally scooped up some evidence with the snow. You better get looking through the snowman, then. It's actually a good call. I'm not sure I would have initially have thought of that. Oh, it's like right there. There's something else. Sweet. You collected a sample of blood that the bottle handled like a pro ace. Let's send it to Lars before the MGB compromises our investigation. Yeah, good job, Elliot. 15 hours. Huh, that's interesting. You found a dirty napkin in that snowman? Well, I guess we have nothing to lose. We need to wrap up this investigation before the MGB jeopardize our entire network. Let's get the napkin to Lars quick. Sweet guys, so 15 hours, I'll see you guys back here. It's been Pitching Ace 88, au revoir. All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. Put Criminal Case on Facebook. Hey, trying to extract the killer's blood from your victim's blood on the bottle was a bloody nightmare, Ace. So the dry blood on the murder weapon was a mixture of the victim's and the killer's blood? Well, it sure was. Obviously, I hadn't had, had enough time to do a full DNA profile on the killer's blood. But I can tell you that your killer has red hair. Great work, Lars. That narrows the list of suspects down. Let's keep an eye out for this red-haired killer, Ace. Uh-oh. Could be Marina. That would be... That would not be fun. Hey, dude, what can you tell us about that napkin that Ace sent you? Well, the sand was beef stroganoff, which proves it belongs to your killer. I don't know if you noticed that the pattern on the stain was broken by an object placed in front of it. I took the outline of the shape and ran through the database. It took a few hours, but I managed to figure out what exactly left that outline in the stain. But don't keep us waiting, bro. What was it? The shape was made by a coin necklace. Oh, so now we know that the killer is wearing a coin necklace. They wanted much use for coins, but they're going ace. I agree. So I believe it's probably the husband. This is it, ace. You gathered all the evidence you need to arrest Daria Chernova's killer. Let's do this. Wait a minute, I don't even think he has red hair. What could it be? Oh! It's the little male escort, huh? Something else is going on there. William Hall, you're under arrest for the murder of Daria Chernova. What? Well, that's ridiculous, Andrew Brace. I would never have hurt Daria. I even started reading Tolstoy, so I, we'd have something to discuss. Speaking of which, we found your copy of War and Peace in the trash, covered in Daria's blood. Well, that could have been anyone's book. There's no proof it's mine. Well, Senator Brace also found your napkin covered in beef stroganoff, except for the perfect circle which matches the coin necklace you're wearing. So what? Eating beef stroganoff isn't a crime? Well, then how do you explain your blood on the handle of the broken vodka bottle which you used to stab Daria? Oh, goodness. I, I really did kill her, didn't I? Went out for dinner the night Daria was killed. I was taking advantage of the alcohol flowing, and we, we both got drunk. I just remember us walking through the red square when we started arguing. Daria kept pressuring me to do the favor for her, you see? We don't need to hear any more about your favors, Liam. Oh, well, you don't get it. It wasn't sexual. She wanted me to drop off a briefcase for her. I don't know what it contained, but I'm not stupid. I knew she couldn't have been up to any good. I left the UK to escape all the trouble I'd gotten into there. I didn't want to do the same here. But then, I blacked out. I woke up in my bed the next morning with no memory of what happened after the argument, and a nasty cut on my hand. 
Well, you better hope the judge cuts you a lenient sentence because you're under arrest for Daria's murder. Oh man, so is there some, some mischievous stuff going on here? Well, Liam Hall, you stand accused of killing Daria Chernova. How do you plead? Well, guilty, your honor, but it was a terrible accident. I just lost my temper. I wouldn't have killed one of my best clients on purpose. Your client? Oh yeah, it says here that you've been working as an escort. You don't mind me asking, how much does one make in that line of work? Sometimes wonder if it's not too late for a career change. <laughs> anyway, back to the matter at hand. Given that the murder was not premeditated, this international court hereby sentences you to five years in prison. Well, I guess my services might come in useful there. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. That's so bad. So bad. Anyways, congratulations on putting Liam Hall behind bars, Ace. We still need to figure out whether or not your victim was actually succeeded in leaking any of Cosmoris' information. It won't be easy given that Natasha's refused to tell us what information Daria had access to, but if anyone can succeed, I'm sure it's you, Ace. Oh man, what are we going to see in the additional investigation? What's it even called? I'm excited. To go to Darkness Descends. Sweet. Anyways guys, I will see you guys in the next part of this. I'm 88 over and out.